Top five results in HD photos from a 2023 Mr. Big Weekend Spain Pro. What's up, desktoppers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back for another contest review. And this weekend, we have the Mr. Big Weekend Spain Pro. It's just wrapped up. Roman Fritz takes out the title in a qualification for the 2023 Mr. Olympia. He's been trying for years now, and this is his first time he has qualified for that contest. So first of all, congrats to Roman Fritz. He looked absolutely sensational. And it looked like it was a two-man battle. Came down to a final two call-out between he and Amir Omarajic, who looked sensational. Was really, really conditioned. Very, very impressive, Amir Omarajic. And I imagine he's got to be slightly, I suppose, upset about losing this contest. But it was a close battle. He had a little bit more conditioning, which is rare that Roman Fritsch is actually out-conditioned by someone. But Amir Omarajic, I think, had the slight conditioning edge over him. We're going to break down... Uh, the top five and also the top two call out a little bit as well. So shout out to Emir Omarajic and looking sensational coming in really conditioned. I think he sacrificed a little bit of size for that conditioning. And I think if Emir can come back with a little bit more size with even close to this conditioning, I think he's going to be very, very good and eventually will win a pro contest and make it to the Mr. Olympia. In third place, we had 21-year-old Jose Manuel Munzos Cueles. I may be pronouncing that last name wrong, but... That's what I'm taking from it. Uh, also known as Jose Mar on IG. I mean, it's amazing what this guy looks like at 21 years of age. This guy has a, a huge future as long as he maintains the lines of his physique and just continues to grow. I just can't imagine this guy isn't going to make it to the Mr. Olympia stage at some stage of his career. In fourth place, we had Pablo Lopez, who looked really good in the individual photo. I'm like, this guy's winning this show. But when you see him in the full lineup, I think by himself, he's one of those guys that looks absolutely sensational, unbeatable. But when you put him next to other guys, he sort of shows up some of his weaknesses. And when he turned to the back, he just wasn't quite as conditioned. And in fifth place, we had Christian Wolski, who's been very, very consistent. I don't think his conditioning was quite as good here as it was in his last show, which was a few weeks back, but still a great showing from Christian Wolski. Now, let's get into a couple of the call-outs. I'll quickly go through these, the top five and also the top two. Now, from left to right, you guys know who's competing in this one. You've got, obviously, Roman Fritz there in the middle. And in the front, double bicep. I think this pose sort of shows up Amir Omarajic's, um, I suppose, maybe lack of size, at least what he brought to this show compared to shows that he's done in the past. And I think that while the conditioning is great and it makes his waist appear smaller, I think he just needs a bit more size on his arms, a bit more on the lats, and overall a bit more on the legs. But he's posing the legs quite well here to sort of offset that, and he does have a good V taper. But I think Roman Fritz, let's suppose it's sort of, I suppose, in the arms was something that he lacked a little bit, but they do look improved. The biceps look a little bit bigger, and I think it looks pretty damn good on him. But the 21-year-old Jose on the left, really, really impressive. But overall, balance-wise, he's probably right up there. I think a few of these guys need a little bit more tricep in this lineup, but uh, overall, uh, pretty impressive. So you can see here in the lineup, Pablo, who you know by himself looks insane, and he does have some very good legs, and he's a very good bodybuilder, but you can just see he sort of fades a little bit. And next to Roman Fritz, you can see Roman really does open up on this pose. And I thought Roman's posing here actually looked pretty damn good. And that might be the edge that he got to actually win this contest. Roman brought a fuller package. And as Amir brought the opposite, he brought a really, really hard cutout package. But you can see Jose Mar there on the left. <laughs> really, really impressive. And he might have the slight advantage on the angle or standing slightly further forward. But he's a guy that actually doesn't look as impressive by himself. But in a lineup, he looks so much bigger. Now, here in the side chest, you can see Amir, that side leg is just so cut out. It just looks so crazy. Very, very impressive. But you can see Roman Fritz just has the size on him. And you can see the way Roman actually poses that side leg. And while sometimes I look at that and I go, oh, that's not the best. But Roman's actually pulling the midsection in here. He looks fuller. He looks bigger. And I actually like it. It's like the old school sort of way of the way he's got his foot and the calf and everything. And I think it actually looks pretty damn good. And he definitely improved that side chest compared to his last contest. Now, in the back double bicep, this is where the conditioning to size ratio sort of mixes things up a little bit. You can see Amir is super, super conditioned, but he loses a little bit there in the back. Roman's coming fuller, uh, much bigger from the back. But Jose Mar there on the left, 
impressing me like crazy once again. Very developed glutes, especially for a 21-year-old. Great conditioning and just really low, low lats. So very impressive there from a 21-year-old finishing there in third. Then we go to the rear lat spread. Amir is just so cut out. You look at that lower back, the glutes are insane. But you also look at Roman Fritz, and from a waist down, he is absolutely peeled. Um, pretty impressive. You can see there as well. You can see Pablo has some pretty thick uh, traps that run down his back. Overall, pretty damn impressive. Side tricep, I love the way Roman's actually hitting this. And his side tricep was one that he didn't hit that well previously. He's opening up more to the crowd. He's definitely worked on his posing uh, in this contest. Very impressive. Jose Mar again, very impressive. Really big delts on the side there, and he looks pretty well cut out also. Go to the ab pose. The way Roman's hitting this, really, really like it as well. It's a slight turn to the side, but I think it works for his physique. And you see Jose Mar again, very, very impressive. But I really do like Pablo on this pose as well, but I just hate the fact that he's actually looking down at his physique. This is sometimes a mistake that you know younger guys or guys that are not stage experienced as much actually do. Um, sometimes when we're doubting themselves, I've done it in a contest where you look down at yourself and it sort of shows that maybe you're not as confident as you should be. If you look out there, smile, you can see what Roman's doing there. It makes a big difference to the overall pose. And then in the most muscular, Roman looks pretty damn impressive in this lineup. The delts are huge, the quads are huge, and it just creates a really good balance. But I will say Jose Mar and also Pablo in this pose look really, really good. And Christian Wolski even looks really good too. I just think that Christian lacked that little bit of extra conditioning that could have put him right up there in contests like this. So then it came down to the final two. So we're going to go pose for pose. And you can see here, even the lighting looks a little bit different when it's a closer up sort of photo. And I want to mention as well, these photos are courtesy of Moray Photos. I believe that's how you pronounce it or something similar. Check him out on IG. The link is uh, to his profile is in the description below. So check him out and shout out to him for these HD photos. But in the front double bicep, I would have Roman. I think Roman is just a little bit fuller on this one overall. Me a little bit more crisp, but just not quite as much muscle as Roman. Roman still has great conditioning. Front lat spread. This one's a little bit closer, but I would also say Roman. I think Amir's leaning back a little bit too far on this one, but it is a little bit closer, but Roman definitely has more muscle on that one. Side chest. Now, this one, I mean, it depends what you like. The side leg of Amir is just ridiculous, but Roman has that crazy hamstring hang, and it's not like he's out of condition either. When you see some other videos and photos, you can sort of go, oh, Roman's absolutely shredded, but Amir's just on an absolute another level. So... This one, I think when we're actually in the proper side chest, I'd say Roman, but in this sort of pose, I'd say Amir. So let's give that one to Amir. So two to one to uh, Roman. Then on this back double bicep now, I, I really don't know how to judge this one, but I think just on pure muscle in the back, I think I have to give it to Roman, although I love the conditioning of Amir. Like those glutes, hammies, lower back, even the back, the way it looks is sensational, but I think he's just dieted away too much muscle here, in my opinion. Uh, so I'll give that one to Roman. So 3-1 to Roman. Rear lat spread. Now, this one's a little bit closer. I mean, it's really tough. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. It's it's hard to know exactly how to award this one. I think I'd give it to Roman, but this one's actually much closer because Amir just is so impressive. Let's give it to Amir. So I'll say 3-2 to two to Roman. The side tricep, I love this one on Roman, so I'm going to give that one to Roman. I don't think he's hitting it as good as he was in the full lineup there. I think mean, he's crunching down on the side ab a little bit too much there, but I'd still give that one to Roman, so I think it's 4-2 Roman. Ab pose, I'd give that to Roman. Very, very impressive, but Amir still looks good on that one, so 5-2 Roman. Most muscular, this one's... I think Amir's just probably a little bit too narrow, just lost a little bit too much size overall, so I'd give that one to Roman too. So overall... Roman Fritz, I think, deserved to win this contest. So shout out to Roman Fritz. Amir, you can make a case for him, no doubt, based on that conditioning, because that conditioning was outrageous. If he had a little bit more fullness to his physique, the back was a little bit bigger, the legs had just that little bit more thickness on them, then I'd give it to Amir for sure. But Amir is very young. I think he's only 23, 24 or something as well. So there's a few young guns in this contest that no doubt in a few years, like Amir and also Jose Mar as well, I think we're going to be stars of the future. So we've got some bright young talent coming up in bodybuilding. So shout out to Moray Photo. As I mentioned earlier, 
also to the Mr. Big Weekend there in Spain. Always a funny contest name, but one that actually Brett Wilkin won last year and got the ring for it. So hopefully he got that ring as well and he can add that to his trophy cabinet. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe to Desktop Bodybuilding and click the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So for Xavier Wills, this is Desktop Bodybuilding and we are out. Thank you.